Okay, so t some disclaimers. Obviously, some of you didn't like the fact that I had a vest on the last video, so t-shirt. And secondly, I'm sorry that I didn't have any b-roll slash graphics in the last video. It was purely because I was uh, going away for a bit, so I kind of needed to get a video out. And although I'd had that video kind of footage planned for a little while, and I'd had it made for a little while, I did not have the time and my computer was acting up. I could not get the b-roll onto my computer, so I'm very sorry for that. Anyway, today is going to be based on something that you probably noticed quite a lot if you're into phones over the past few months. Cyanogen isn't really there, is it? It was there and now it's not. And now we have this thing called Lineage. And what you might not know is that the two intertwine quite a lot. I'll get into the story in a short while, but first, what is Cyanogen? Cyanogen, or the actual Cyanogen mod, which is what it's called, the product was called Cyanogen Mod, was a community-based OS that was based on Android, and what it was was it gave flexibility and opportunities to customize the OS, change settings, deeper level than just your background wallpaper and maybe some icons you had. Definitely more flexibility there. And it looked a lot like stock Android at stock, but then you could change it to maybe look like TouchWiz, to look like LG skin. And that was the greatest thing is it was like a platform that you could change your phone's aesthetic and even the usability based on it. With changing shortcuts, you know, off-screen buttons, and stuff like that. Being able to customize your phone so that if it does have off-screen buttons, you could now have on-screen ones and disable those off-screen ones. So it, things like that. Now, how do you get signage on? How did you get signage and mod? Well, you first had to root your phone if it wasn't rooted already and unlock the bootloader and basically put the OS on your phone, sideload it from a computer, what is what most people did anyway. And with Cyanogen Mod, the beauty of it is that some devices that actually had Cyanogen Mod, you could plug into your computer, run an installer, as long as it was a Windows-based computer, run an installer, and it would do it almost with you and for you instead of having to use ADB and Fastboot to sideload the OS, which was brilliant. And it's why loads of people use Cyanogen Mod, because it was just so easy to sideload for a lot of devices. Now, I have created videos on Cyanogen Mod in the past, the top five reasons to install Cyanogen Mod right now, and I also showed off a video where my Nexus 4 was running Android 6 Marshmallow, which is crazy because the Nexus 4 is an old phone, and it was all using Cyanogen Mod, which was awesome, before that broke. So, Cyanogen is a company, and I cannot really find much data on it, but I know that it's a company that wasn't, was kind of helping and supporting Cyanogen Mod, the product. Now, like I said, it is open source Cyanogen Mod, meaning that it was and still is free to the public, and you can access source code because Cyanogen, the company, did actually leave the source code in, I believe it might be a GitHub link or whatever, and you could just go and build, you know, developers could build their OS based on it, which is super cool and good move uh, for Cyanogen. They also took the developers, or basically when they decided to kill off Cyanogen mod, Cyanogen took the developers and they went and made their own company called Lineage. Now, apparently Lineage, or the definition of it, is linked to evolving uh, from your pre previous self, which is quite ironic, really, when it comes to this. And I believe that's probably why they did it. And Lineage OS is what Cyanogen Mod was. Uh, and the, the system is still not completely fundamentally there, but they are bringing in the things like nightly and uh, experimental builds, which are things like with Cyanogen Mod, you were able to update your phone nightly. It would just be that up to date. For a lot of mainstream phones, Lineage does have that, those nightly and experimental builds, which is awesome. Now, I'll leave some links to in the description to where you can find the things that I found out in this video, but for now, I'm just gonna be going through the, the overall details. Now, there are pages online where you can actually find the information for yourself, uh, especially when it comes to the actual builds. You can go to the Lineage website and download a build for your uh, phone itself, which is super cool. And I would recommend Lineage based on the fact that it's, it's from Cyanogen Mod, which is a fantastic OS. I, I, I mean, it really is. The fact that you could change so much about your phone, especially with my Nexus 4, which was age old, literally an old device, and being able to put Marshmallow on it, and I believe you can still get like nougat for it and stuff. You can get it on your Samsung devices too, so my S7 Edge, well, I've, I've got rid of the case uh, now. It's, it still works for that, and it, it still works quite well. And it doesn't quite work as easily as those phones that have really easily unlockable bootloaders and easy to kind of root it and stuff. So 
you can get it for Samsung devices and Lineage is available, like I said, for many, many devices. I mean, easily your LG, Samsungs, um, Oppos, uh, OnePluses, stuff like that. But then you've also got other devices like maybe your Ellie phones that aren't quite as mainstream, but they're still there, Xiaomi, stuff like that. I mean, Xiaomi is pretty mainstream in China, but over here it's not quite as mainstream. So that's basically it. Lineage is the Lineage OS is what CyanogenMod was. It's still open. You can still access the source files, uh, and you are basically what you're seeing with Lineage is that they are the developers from CyanogenMod. So it's essentially the same thing, just with a different brand, with a different logo. And if you see like Lineage OS, because I, when I was looking for ROMs for other phones, Lineage OS popped up, and I was like, "What is this? Where is Cyanogen?" It is basically the same thing. So, if you guys like this video, please leave a like. Please dislike it if you disliked it. And leave me some more information in the comments. Because I believe I told this quite well, but there, there is definitely a lot of data I haven't uncovered yet. And please subscribe if you're new to never miss a video like this one. Uh, there will be some videos coming up soon, like the Galaxy S3, the S3 versus the S4, and some other fun videos that I will be releasing. I, I'm sorry for not releasing videos very frequently recently. But hopefully that's you know going to get back to the way it was. I have been working on videos. It's not like I haven't been abandoned. You know, it's definitely not like I've been abandoning YouTube. I've had definitely some time to write these videos. I've got three or four videos planned, and so I'm going to be making those you know over the the coming days and hopefully release them two or three times a week, which is going to be super cool. So thank you guys for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.